Happy Earth Day, everybody. We are in Costa Rica at Inbio Parque, which is the environmental park here uh, in Costa Rica. And I want to bring in Esteban Lobo. He is uh, with the park, and he's got a couple of animals to show us here. And this first one is a praying mantis. And it's almost hard to find this thing because he's so well camouflaged, Esteban. Yeah, actually, well, it blends with the vegetation we have actually have here at Trunk, and it's almost the same color of the stick. And uh, right the praying mantis has compound eyes, so this is really good because they are really good hunters. They can hunt uh, other insects like crickets, and they have really uh, strong arms. Actually, they have like razor blades and arms, and they are really fast to hunt animals. But they, I mean, they, they eat a lot of species that destroy, you know, good plants, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, they are biological control to many species here in Costa Rica, and especially those that eat coffee plantations or something, rice plantations or um, sugarcane plantations. They help us a lot. Definitely, if you're thinking about a trip to Costa Rica, come on down mm -hmm. uh, and visit the park because it's really one of the things to do once you get here and land in San Jose, which is the capital. And I'm going to actually pick up the other uh, case here that's holding the next thing. And, of course, if you've ever heard the song, La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, uh, mm -hmm. which means cockroach, we've got a cockroach for you here this morning. And this one a little bit different than the ones that crawl right. around in America. Yeah, well, this one is really common in the dry Pacific uh, forest in Costa Rica that is found in the North Pacific area in a province that we call Guanacaste. And, well, they are really important in the forest because they add the nutrients to the soil. They uh, eat raw material. Right. Like, uh, they live in the leaf litter. So right there, they find many things, fruits and many other things. So they help in the in the recycling of the nutrients in the forest. And this used to be a coffee plantation, right? This was a coffee plantation 50 years ago. Wow. And, well, the forest uh, made all the job because vegetation creates the conditions to the forest. So right now we have a forest that is in regeneration. Right. And probably in the future, we'll have a secondary forest here in the Central Valley. All right. And now this park is a education for just about everybody who walks in here. And this is a good thing because mm -hmm. it is Earth Day, and we're here to celebrate that. Thanks, Esteban. Thank you I so much. I appreciate that. Coming.